Hey everybody, my name is Ravi. Perhaps you've seen one of my instant guitarification clinics around the country at your local music store, but if not, I'm going to give you a little bit of a glimpse of what I do in that clinic. First of all, I'm very fortunate to have all these Greg Bennett guitars and basses, electrics and acoustics. It's such a vast line. There's something for everybody in there. Greg's really thought these guitars out. They're made so well and they're priced in a way that we can afford to buy a few of them. And you'll see the advantage of owning a few of them. I love the fact that I have a bass. Uh, I'm not a bass player, but it's amazing what you can do as a guitar player when you get a bass. Let me give you an example. I've got a drum machine here and a looper, and we're just going to lay down over a little Latin groove, a cool kind of bass line, and then I'll fill it out with a bunch of guitars. So here we go. I think I'm going to lay the main guitar track down with this acoustic. This Greg Bennett all solid wood guitar is beautiful. Check out the inlay work, nice binding on it, angled headstocks, Grovers, great Fishman uh, EQ system and electronics in here. This is a wonderful guitar. Gotta love the cutaway too because it's going to allow me to get up to some of these higher notes. So to go over that bass line, I'm going to do kind of like a 6-8 figure here. Uh, let's see, something like that. And I'm going to lay that right over that bass groove and Latin drum, so let's see how that sounds. This is the Royale, the RL3. Greg made a really nice guitar here in the Royale series. This is a semi-hollow electric, and I don't know about you, but you know I never really wanted one, but now I've got a couple. I love these guitars. They sound great, they're fun to play, and they're really well made, because even though they're essentially chambered, they were designed with one single solid piece of mahogany. It's not two sides and a center piece. This is a single piece of wood. And that way, the guitar is much more rigid, and it doesn't vibrate as much. Therefore, the strings vibrate more. The less of the guitar that is vibrating means that the strings can vibrate more, and it improves your sustain. So on this Latin tune that we're working on here, I'm going to use my neck pickup here so I can get a really nice warm sound out of this guitar. And I'm just going to play some simple sort of colorful chords and maybe do a counter rhythm to what's going on there with the acoustic. Here we go. For my final track, I'm going to use the CD3. This is the Concord. Possibly my favorite guitar in the line. I love it. It's got 24 frets, so I've got full two octave range that I can play on. And of course, it's got the Duncan design pickups, it's got the angled headstock, and the Grovers. So it's a really nice instrument to solo with. And I think what I'll first do is I'm going to lay a little mute pick pulsating track, and then uh, I'm just going to jam after that. So I hope you enjoy it. Hope you like the tune. Come visit me at www.heyravi.com or at an instant guitarification clinic at a Greg Bennett dealer near you. Have fun.
Thank you.